again for another makeup look. Today I'm gonna do my foundation and I'm gonna show you how I do it with this AOA Studio BB Cream in shade light. It's just not light enough for me. So I use this mix to match from e.l.f. I suck at buying my own foundation shade, so it's a lifesaver. So I just apply some BB cream on my beauty blender from AliExpress. And I'm just gonna add some mix to matte adjuster right on my BB cream. Just a little bit. A little bit. And then I just go and stab my face with my foundation. And I blend all the way. I prefer BB instead of a brush. I feel like it sticks more to my skin. So. No need to conceal when you wear foundation. So that's already a start. I don't do my face like that too often mostly because summer's coming so it's gonna be way too hot but today is a little colder so my face shouldn't melt so why not so as you can see it does still look a little bit too dark for me, but at least I don't look arranged like I used to before. So this elf adjuster is a lifesaver. Thanks lightning for not focusing on my face. So I guess I'm done for that part. When I do my foundation, I always powder because with my oily skin otherwise it doesn't stick so I'm gonna use once again a powder from AOA studio a finishing press powder in beige Oops. so I just I use this little thing ish to powder my skin so my foundation really sets in I might put a little too much powder, but with my oily skin, I don't really have the choice. And this BB cream is like one dollar, <laughs> good coverage, doesn't do any breakout on my skin, which is awesome. Nobody likes any more breakout because of beauty cosmetics so I'm gonna add a little bit more so I guess that's pretty much it and I'm gonna add some highlighter because I like to glow in case you didn't know already I'm gonna go with another elf product in white pearls so today I'm gonna go all in on the tip of my nose and my nose bridge ish see that i like that Ooh. can you see that glow it's like three dollars i think or five anyway it's really affordable and it makes me glow like the sun which is what i'm aiming for so that's good so everything that I use for my skin is really affordable and I highly recommend. Works well, doesn't any break out. Affordable, flawless skin, a lifesaver. All right, now we can move to the eyes. So I've got two single shadows from ColourPop. I've got the Super Shock Shadow in Kathleen Lights and I've got this Jelly Mud Shadow in Wide Awake. 
So I'm gonna take Wide Awake, which is like a really bright yellow, and I'm gonna apply it to my inner corner as my lighter shade. The jelly match doesn't really fall out, as the formula is more thick, I guess. It's pretty great to work with, and it's really pigmented as well, so it's pretty cool. I'm gonna go with the other eyes. What's up, guys? Yeah, me recording right now, I don't have much to talk. Well, I can always tell you about my life, but that wouldn't be like a dialogue. I would just be speaking to myself on the camera, which is kind of out of court sometimes. So, that's pretty much for the yellow. Now we're gonna move to the brown's orange color from the Kathleen Lights collection see that? that's glowy full of shimmers I like that I like everything that glows so yeah hmm. this formula is more creamy it's like a satin formula so it's pretty easy to work with as well really pigmented that's pretty good oh some fell out nice now we're gonna go with some eyeliner for my under eyes I still get eyeliner anyway so I'm gonna use my Lotus Coal from Art Deco a light green like this follow it again right here hmm looks great and now I'm gonna go with the, my highlighter for my inner corner from Ardeco. I'm gonna go right there just a little bit do, 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 do. I'm not gonna sing I can sing but whatever I'm trying my best to entertain you guys so yeah that's great pretty glowy I need a lip gloss. I'm gonna go with my Tarte H2O lip gloss in Sail Away, which is like a cute little pinkish nude. This is like so glossy. There you go. Not sticky, not too thick, not too liquid, and it's shiny as hell. So I like again my bottom mascara. I should learn to do another face when I apply mascara, but let's see. That's great. Don't want to go too intense, too intense with the bottom line since with my essence mascara, my top lashes will look so intense already.
All right. I'm gonna clean this a little bit. Then I'm gonna take some pics and you're gonna see the final look. Now I'm gonna finish with this setting spray from NYX. Matte finish. I'm not a huge fan. It smells like alcohol. Really strong. And sometimes it gives me breakout. But I have to finish it so I'm just gonna glue it. To really set my foundation. So, I believe I am done. For this glowy look. Let me know in the comments below what you think. And subscribe somewhere on that side. See you again!